Hello, welcome to our quick 10 minute yoga strength situation. This can be great for morning. Uh, if you're doing a strength workout and you want a little extra or just really anytime you need a bit of a boost. So we will start just in our comfortable seated position just for a couple quick breaths just to get us started. So sit up nice and straight and tall. Uh, legs are crisscross applesauce, hands are on our knees. And we're just gonna close our eyes and just take a couple big deep breaths, getting ready for our work here. Really think about letting that belly expand on every inhale and then fully collapse on every exhale. One more big, deep, energizing breath. And let it all out, eyes open, and we are gonna start with our planks. So let's hop into our Plank position, just our nice high push up, thinking about that straight line from the back of our head all the way down to the back of our heels. Core is tight. Everything is working here. This is a very active posture, even though we are not moving. We do want to keep breathing through it. I know it's tempting to kind of hold your breath a little bit, but keep those breaths going nice and controlled. And then we're going to come down onto our elbows here. So still in that plank. Again, thinking about the back of our head all the way down to the backs of our heels being in one nice straight line. Hands are firmly planted into the ground. And again, we're still breathing, which I know is a little harder as we continue doing this. So if you need to lift up a, an arm, lift up a leg, do whatever you need to do to keep it going. Just a couple more seconds here. Deep breaths. And then we're just going to pivot onto our right side, so on the side of our right foot, thinking that nice straight line. We're still holding it. And we can either bring our arm up, maybe even look up if balance is, uh, is comfortable here. Again, we want to keep that core nice and tight. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Couple more seconds. And then back to elbows plank. Told you we were getting started with a, a bit of strength here. Last full plank though. One side left after this. A few more seconds. Check in on that breathing. And roll it over onto your left foot. Again, that arm can come out, that arm can come up. If you want to challenge your balance, you can even lift one foot off of the other. More of a starfish. Whatever feels right for you. Couple more breaths. And bring it back down. This time, lower yourself all the way to the ground. And we're just going to quickly roll over onto our backs. We're going to bring our heels a few inches from our bums. Relax, catch your breath for a second. And then hands are going to come down on either side of your glutes here. And we're just going to come up into a nice bridge. So we're lifting our pelvis up. Make a nice straight line from our chest down to our knees. You might have heard me say it before, but think about pressing those hands into the ground to really activate all your muscles. This is probably feeling a little challenging coming straight from the planks. That's okay. Again, keep breathing. And then slowly lower it down. And relax. And then let's make our way on up to standing. All right, quick sun salutation time. All right, ready? Let's flow. We're going to bring our arms up over our heads, nice and straight and tall. Maybe look up at the ceiling. And then swan dive it forward into our forward fold. Lengthen that spine. So we're making that nice L shape, really feeling that in our hamstrings. And then relax back down 
into that forward fold. And then we're used to this already. We're going to walk it on out to our plank. Hold that plank for just a second. And then we're slowly going to lower it down and just press up to whatever kind of cobra is comfortable for you. That might be just a little tiny baby cobra, just a little bit of a back bend, or it might be more of a full one, whatever feels right. And then we're going to tuck our toes and slowly make our way up to that downward dog. So we're a nice downward dog, first one of the day. Nice deep breath here. Don't worry too much about getting those uh, heels towards the ground. Really just pedaling those feet, enjoying that stretch. And then we're going to lift our right leg just up and back just a tiny bit, not going too high, just giving us some space. And then we're going to bring that right knee up between our hands. Left leg comes down on the ground behind us into our nice pigeon pose, really working in on that hip a little bit. Deep breath. Not going to spend too much time here. And we're going to tuck that back toe, pop that back knee, and step that foot back. We're in that nice high plank. You can either hang out here for a couple breaths or hop in just a few push ups. Your choice, however many feels right, is great. And then we're going to slowly lower that down all the way to the ground again. And again, pressing up into that cobra. Enjoy that little back bend. Take a breath. And then tuck your toes. And very gently, very carefully, bring it back up to plank and then up to downward dog. Again, pause for a breath here. Pedal those feet out. Nice deep breaths. And this time, left leg's just going to come back just a tiny bit. And then it's going to sweep up. Our left knee is going to come up between our hands. Right leg comes down and back behind us. And we're just into that pigeon pose on the other side. Again, working into that hip. Enjoying that nice stretch. Keeping those breaths nice and deep. Almost there. All right, we're going to check that back toe, pop that back knee up, give us some space. Step back into that high plank. Again, you can hang out here or you can just drop in just a couple push ups. Nothing fancy, however many feel good for you. And then drop it down into whatever cobra feels right. And then we're just going to press our bums back towards our heels into our child's pose. Really think about maybe turning your arms, thinking about turning where they, your shoulder sockets are. Really enjoying that stretch. Finding whatever feels right. That might mean even moving a little bit from side to side. We do want to get a bit of relaxation going here. Nice deep breaths. And then slowly make your way back on over to your back. This time we're going to lay down like we did for bridge, but we're not going to do another bridge. We're just going to drop our legs down to our, or our knees down to our left side. We're going to look over our right shoulder. Arms can come out in a T, cactus shape, whatever feels good. And just breathe. And then slowly bring your legs over to the other side. So drop them to your right as your head comes over to your left. Think windshield wiper. Just ending with a really nice stretch on our spine. Picture it like you're wringing it out. And then just slowly move it back and forth just a couple more times. So as your legs drop over to one side, your head is looking over to the other. Focusing on slowing our breath down. Let's do one more on each side. And then when you're ready, bring those legs into center. Give yourself a little hug. 
rock around, give that spine a little bit of a massage on the floor. And then when you're ready, just start making your way up to sitting, kind of rock your way up and back into that comfortable cross-legged position. Hands come back on our knees and we're just going to close our eyes and just take a couple deep breaths. Thinking of maybe one good positive to start the rest of your day on, one thing you're grateful for, one thing that feels really good right now, one thing you're looking forward to. Big deep breath in and big breath out. And you can either hang out here for a while or whenever you're ready, open up your eyes and get on with your day. Thanks so much for hanging out.